This is Dallin with DaltronPrinting.com. I'm starting a 3D printing business and I want to show you how I'm doing it. I'm going to start, show everything, the highs and the lows, everything in between, and hopefully you can watch my journey as I grow not only a YouTube channel, hopefully I can get some sort of base going and grow at least a small but humble community, um, as well as a 3D printing business. Uh, hopefully can get more orders in than I've already done. I've done a few here and there, just side gigs for the most part, but I want to take this full scale or at least as big as I'm able to grow it. And I want to show the whole thing. I've seen a lot of videos on how to start one, how to grow, how to do all this stuff. But those are from people who have already are quite established, which to be fair is a good thing to listen to, but I want to go through and show the process, of what I'm doing, how I'm starting, and where I'm going from there. I'm gonna try and do roughly weekly updates. Everything from the items that I'm printing, the companies that I'm talking to, depending on what they're doing. My, um, I guess I should explain my thought process for what I'm doing and why I'm wanting to stand out in the 3D printing community, because of course you can go to any uh, company and make or any 3D printing business, side, per, you know, side hustle person, get whatever you want done, toys, custom signs, whatever. Um, where I'm wanting to try and stand out is to make, um, and of course there are people already doing this, it's not like I'm standing out a ton, but I want to try and make 3D prints for companies more so than for uh, like fun. I, of course I, I like making, you know, 3D printing stuff like toys and all that stuff for kids and I, I do a lot of 3D printing during the holidays for uh, Christmas and Thanksgiving and uh, Hanukkah if you're Jewish and stuff. I do a lot of 3D printing around that time for, for toys and I love it, it's super fun, but what I find the most fun is taking a problem that somebody has, either personal or business problem, uh, personal or commercial, and designing a custom solution for it. I, I, it's, it's super fun and super uh, rewarding to have something you designed on a computer come into the real world. I just use Fusion 360, so I'll show my process. I'm not trained in any way to be um, an engineer or any CAD sort of design, but I, I think showing me going from really beginner knowledge, I do have some skills, like I said, I've done this a little bit here and there just for either stuff around the house that I needed, just really small things, or I've done it for one or two other people or a company or two here and there. Nothing crazy, I haven't made a whole lot of money easily under, uh, probably under 300 bucks to be honest. It's, I haven't made a whole lot of money as far as 3D printing goes, but I want to. I'm going to do my best to make money 3D printing and I want to show as much as I can to YouTube. So, um, that's about it. I know these videos are probably going to be pretty choppy, cutting out the fluff. I don't have any practice practical skills video editing or anything like that however I'll do my best I made a video kind of introducing myself and I figured I'd show my setup for now um, right now I have extra stuff on the bottom FDM machine right here and resin machine right here I'm going to remove this top bar it's super in the way and annoying and I don't think it I don't think my setup needs this so much for rigidity and then I want to add some sort of air filtration system right there in my garage but I'm just trying to keep costs as low as possible. Um, I know that's not great, but whenever I do work with the resin stuff, I'll just open up my garage right there. So it's not the worst thing. It's not the best setup, but uh, you know, you do what you can when you start out. So got a print going on right now, resin machine. Um, I just have my phone connected, OctoPrint running all that right now. Uh, I don't have a, a good recording setup to do time lapses yet. I want to. 3D print or design something right here that'll go right here and connect so I can uh, get this phone just doing time lapses for me. I haven't done that yet just because I am using this machine to um, custom design something for a business that I'm working with. So once I'm done with that, then I'll probably work harder on getting a few upgrades and niceties. But until I'm done with that, I just I gotta print these things because I have to. I'm using a two millimeter nozzle and. Hopefully I can get that working because I'm also using uh, stainless steel because 
bronze has, I think, a little bit of, or the, the basic bronze nozzles have a little bit of lead in them, and this is something that would touch food, and it wouldn't particularly be staying on it for too long, or at least it shouldn't be, uh, but that's what it will be doing, so. I don't know exactly how I would expand um, if I ever get the chance to get multiple printers, or when I get the chance to. Make good choices and remember who you are. Thank you.